All right, so here's the grill we've got from AM Off-Road. I'm gonna take it out of the package for the first time so you guys can see it along with us. We've got some styrofoam wrap around it. Looks like we've got our instruction guide here. So there's what the finished grill will look like. Again, we'll leave the links below so you can see all of this and the pictures they've got online. But we've got our install guide. I'm sure this is our hardware box. We'll open in just a second. And then we've got some pretty decent bubble wrap. And we'll see if we can slide it out without catching it on anything. Looks like a really nice heavy duty piece right there. So the LED lights are all pre-installed. It's got a nice honeycomb, looks like factory almost honeycomb grill insert. Real nice plastic. And we, like I talked about in the intro video, like uh, his original grill, we may end up getting this paint matched, this surround bezel right here, leave everything else black. I don't think we do anything else, but we'll let him decide how he wants to handle it. But Looks like a good piece. Let's flip it over and see our wiring. Looks like we've got the one wire for the main lights in the center. And then we've got these connectors for the LEDs for the amber lights up front. I'm sure all that's in the box. We'll take it open or, or pull it open in just a second and see how all this connects. And all we've got to do is a few little connectors on the grill and this should pop right in. Here's our install box. We've got a couple of nuts and bolts and, and the little clips that, that uh, hold it into the original factory locations that pop, will pop in here. And then we've got our wiring harness for these up top. We've got our couple of adapters that we'll have to put in here and bolt in and that'll hold the grill in. So we'll pull open the instructions, get it all put together and should be a breeze to get installed. Here's the hardware kit all laid out. There's not a lot of instructions in, on here just exactly where each bolt goes, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you've got the four bolts here, nuts, same setup on this one, and then three screws, which match exactly to the four bolts that need to go in here, and you can see how they slide in from the side there. And then this goes on top like that. Same thing here, and then you'll have your uh, bra side brackets and it's got four holes in the bracket but there's only three underneath it for those three screws so you line that up put it together and then we'll we'll put this thing in and test out the lights before we put it in for good we've got all our brackets put together now so the screws go on the ends there we've got our bolts snapped in everything good to go there on the center ones the same on this side and then we've got our wiring for our lights zip tied together and out of the way so it cleans it up and it's run over to the side where our fuse box is and we already had a fuse tap in that fuse box for the original grill so now all we got to do is pop this thing in place test out the wiring see what it looks like we've got our grill now wired up to our fuse tap in our fuse box everything's wired up and tested and working perfectly so now it's time to Bring it out and show you what it turned out like. 